Sahara YouTube. Today is part two of the uh, grid tide inverter limiter with integrated Wi Fi, built in Wi Fi. Um, I just want to show you what I'm going to do here today. Uh, we're trying to test this bad boy and see how we can incorporate the uh, modules, solar panels, that's what I meant, to uh, this bad boy and see how he's going to perform for the first time. And uh, I want you to stay with me as I'm bringing you live coverage here from the JW Solar USA. And uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the more videos to come on this channel. Now you've seen the limiter and I uh, just want to show you the weather condition here before we're going to do the test. And uh, I'm going to be using two 50 watts uh, energy and a uh, whole um, Kyocera 120 watt solar module which is uh, refurbished. So I'm going to show you the conditions here. You see all the snow is still on the ground here. And uh, we can go from there. And these are the clouds and no sun at all. That much. It's just bright. And uh, I'm going to bring you the entire or the rest of the video with this kind of uh, condition and test. The test conditions of this video. That you guys can be able to see exactly what a limiter can do on a weather like this. Alright? It's going to be a total of 100. 70 watt together. All right, stay tuned for more to come from this channel, JW Solar USA. Bye. Okay, these are the two modules I was gonna try into this device. These are Renogy 50 watt RNG 50D solar panels. These are monocrystalline two of them here I want to incorporate and try them with the uh, grid tire limiter but uh, before I'm gonna try the uh, limiter into the big array I want to do this way first to see instead of me disconnecting some few things and do that this is just a quick test you know grab here and there and match the thing, slap it into the controller and see if it's working. Better test it and see, able to play with the um, Wi Fi uh, specifications there and see how I can program and understand it before I throw it into the board and see exactly how the installation is going to go. By saying that, I have um, another panel I want to do a series connection. Since this one's uh, two, uh, 50 watts, um, if I connect them in series, it will give me just this uh, current here, which is going to be, um, I don't know if you can read it sideways, but it will be 22.7 volt at 18 operation of voltage, the VMP. So the controller start up with um, 22 to 65 volt. So this voltage will be uh, lesser. So I have to connect these panels in series to give me about 45 point something. 7, 7, 14, and 22, 22, 44, 45 point something. And I don't just want to use, it's going to read as just 50 watt. You're just gonna see it as 50 watt you know if I connect them series sorry <laughs> it's gonna be in a hundred watt panel but um, the amperage is still gonna say it's still gonna be the same as 2.7 amps at um, 45 point something volt so by doing that I want to put these panels in parallel together and bring up the amperage to approximately if you put these two numbers here 
uh, which is the 40, oh no, 2.84 times 2 in parallel. So it's going to give you approximately 5 point something to 6, 6 point something amps at 50 volt, at 50 watt. He's going to see at 50 watt solar panel. But I have an old Renogy panel here. I want to incorporate with that. For me just to see a 50 watt panel, which um, the voltage is still going to be at this. At this, if I put him in parallel, it's going to be 22.7. He's not going to start up this um, inverter as well at all. So it's going to drop to 18.5, which is below the threshold. So I'm going to incorporate this one to the uh, controller, which is a Renogy, um, sorry, which is a Kyocera uh, 120 watt solar panel. But the thing is the voltage is low as well, which the amperage is very high. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect those two. 50 watt solar panel uh, Renogy panels in maybe in series or maybe in parallel I don't want to go in series because it's gonna the voltage is gonna go over which is 65 for the limiter which um, those panels are 20 something each you can see that it can be 22.7 it's gonna go um, over the voltage so I'm connecting those two modules there in parallel to have a six almost very close to seven amps to match this one which is about seven almost seven amps seven point something amps at 21 point something the voltage is the same the voltage is very close with this big panel if i put that panel in parallel if i put those panel in parallel and connect them in in later connecting in series with this one here i think that'll work we just have to give it a try and see, folks, how everything works here. Just since it's an experimental uh, channel, uh, I want you guys to see. These are the specs here for the Kyocera. These are refurbished panel, okay? It's refurbished. So you see what I'm telling you guys? Um, the VOC is 21.5, which the VOC here, you guys can see, is 22.7 so if i decided to put them those panels as one now so 250 watt panel is going to be almost um 50 watt instead of 100 watts it's going to be 50 watt at seven almost six point something to seven in parallel and connect and series it with this big one which is 120 see that 120 watts panel at 7.1 volt 7.1 amp sorry and it's gonna give us about 21.5 plus 22.7 so that will give us a good starting uh, voltage and amperage so I can able to see something good at least this is a 150 was well, so 120 sorry I don't know I keep on mistaking 120 plus uh, 250 uh, two of the 50 watt solar panels so it's saying that's one so it's gonna be approximately a hundred that'll be approximately 170 watt of panel at 7.45 amps so let's give it a try and see how everything works from there you guys can see the next uh, see what the outcome on the next video. Stay tuned from JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching. Kyocera and uh, it's a refurbished panel, but we're going to put it to work. This is what I'm dealing with here. And uh, stay tuned for more videos to come from this channel. I can show you the test. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Bye.